It looks like it's stopped lagging, at least mostly. I'm actually just gonna keep this entire hand. If it's a resub, that you need to click share in order for it to appear on the screen. It's still slightly laggy, but not super laggy. I wonder why it's lagging. Hmm. Yeah, it's still kind of laggy. Okay. So, my guess is that... I mean, he's obviously either Taunt or Spiteful. Probably wouldn't coin that out as Spiteful, so it's probably Taunt. Let's see what we get. Starfall. Okay. Okay, so this is this is looks like it's Taunt Druid. Maybe I should have punched this last turn, actually. Well, well there we go. Probably should have punched it last turn. Just buy another PC. Bought this PC not long ago, and it's like very, very high end, so it should not have problems running Hearthstone, that's for sure. And we do have the Starfall. We can just kill this guy with the Starfall. Lights out. We also have double sap, which is good against the, um, which can be good against the Hadronox plan. Lich King's also pretty strong against them, can often force a natural wise. My opponent hasn't been able to ramp at all, so. Alright. There's Tess. Doesn't really do much yet. Right now I can just potentially like fan punch this next turn or just cutlass it down rather than just lose this guy. Alright. Okay. Eh. I don't really care about protecting this. This can just die. I'll just wait. Gloom Stag. That's not really going to do anything. Twenty-seven hour stream marathon. Uh, what? <laughs> Another spellstone. Okay. What? Less and less likely he can kill my Lich King. He just used two spellstones. I bet told you I'd be streaming for another twenty-seven hours. I will be streaming for another, like, hour and 15 minutes or so, so pretty close. I'm actually ending ending early today because I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm going to do uh, the chiropractor. Okay, naturalize my Lich King, that's very rude. I do not appreciate it. Okay, so that's like a setting up for a Primordial Drake. Ooh, we have Shadow Step for Tess if we're looking to go there. What have I played so far? I've only played like one, played a Starfall, right? That's it. And Obliterate's not a particularly good one to recast with Tess because it's random. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Oh wait, oh, for some reason I thought I had 10. Eh, this is still fine. I wanna play this. And then, Maybe this is bad because eh, he's not looking to infestation or he wouldn't have drawn cards last turn. Mm, I'm actually going to do this. Uh, Cardiotomy. Thanks for the four month resub in a battle with Rith and Shiro. Who would win? Rith and Shiro would not battle one another because they both understand that they're on the same team. The team of, of you know, the awesomest beings in the, in the universe. What do you think of Azalea in this deck? I, I don't. I think that you generally have a pretty full hand and don't really want to use it. I think it's pretty weak overall. 
Okay. Well, we can obliterate it. Never mind, we can slay it. Doesn't have like Hadronox naturalize right away. Hadronox naturalize brings back what? One, two, three. It brings back five things. So it's actually pretty powerful. Uh, he's not playing a deck with Spreading Plague, so I'm not concerned about that. Okay, that one only gives him armor. Mm hmm. It's 17. We can just obliterate this if we want. Or just sap it. Uh, I have... How much damage do I have here? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. If I just obliterate, I get stacked with this. I don't really want to play Tess here, because, you know... I'm just gonna say go. Now Tess is going to cast a Starfall and Obliterate, which is, like, not very useful. Yeah, these uh, Taunt Druid decks don't run Plague, because it interferes with Witching Hour. They also don't run Fulfurion for the same reason. Basically, has to have Hadronax Naturalize right now, and he's already used one Naturalize, so... Okay. I guess he can gain 12 from Branching Paths, so yeah. Does Hadronox naturalize? I have Sap Sap on two big things. Shadow Step this. And kill three things? Or at least get rid of three things? Is it worth the swinging this? I guess I might as well. If I test here, I probably just kill two of my own guys. I'm just gonna hit my opponent and dagger up. Okay, there's the Hadronox. So he does have Hadronox into naturalize, he just drew it. So now, I assume he has like Witching Hour and such in his hand. Pickpock would have been a great draw like any previous turn. This is kind of a messy, messy game now. All right, we're gonna... Justice is mine. I actually wanna sap this. Ah, pickpocket again! Ah, god damn it! I, I, the lag was so, that was terrible. That was super annoying. The lag actually, like, I was dragging it up and it didn't let me actually cast that. Because he's in a weird spot where he wants to, like, witching hour plus cube. We actually have no minions left in our, uh, uh, oh, no, we have an SI agent, so that'd be, like, we could have menstrual into the one SI agent. But, ugh, that was super obnoxious. Alright. That's specifically why I sapped Lich King, because if he's in a position where he needs to, like, ooh, okay, hallucination. Hadronox. I have a Lich King that died. That's kind of funny. Alright. I have a Lich King and it'll be two Tar Creepers. Will I be able to actually get my Hadronox killed though? That's the big question. I think so. All right, we're doing it. I think this is actually better. God, if I at least cast the Ferocious Howl. Okay, well this can attack into here.
So my Hadronox attacks into here gets me Tark Reaper, Tark Reaper, Lich King. Do I hallucination first? Maybe I get something... Because I don't know that I want to... Do I want to test yet? I mean, test... Oh, and the stag, right. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to Ferocious Howl here. I know that Tesla already summoned Hadronox. Death and Decay, rude. Okay. I don't want to sap Lich King because I want to sap when he witching hours and cubes. I need to be able to sap the cube. Oh, I should have daggered, yeah. Okay, so what, do, what am I casting from Tess here? Oh my god, there's an Angora pack too. I'm casting Ferocious Howl, I'm casting a Hadronox, I'm casting a Gloomstag, I'm casting a, a an Obliterate. I think I just attack both of these into here first. Cause I don't, cause if I cast Starfall, do I have enough room for everything? All right, I'm actually gonna do this. Could have gotten it. Alright, I could have gotten an extra Tortola. King Mosh. Interesting. Nourish? Nourish? Do you just not have Witching Hour or something? What? Well, now you can't cube it. You've already used both Naturalizes. Oh, and Obliterate. You're just gonna die to fatigue. What a bizarre game. I out Hadronox the Hadronox deck. <laughs> I guess he just didn't have Witching Hour in his hand. It was like the bottom of his deck. <laughs> oh, this deck is so fun to play. You just like, you're not even taking cards from their deck, but beating them with their own stuff is still so, so satisfying.